Hey guys, this is Bomb again. Welcome to Cyber Security TV. Uh, today's video is about the exploiting cross-site scripting uh, for the key logging. So uh, we're gonna see how you can do the key logging uh, on the victim's uh, browser or the client system using by exploiting the cross-site scripting. Uh, we have done several examples uh, of cross-site scripting in the past, so uh, this is going to be a variant of like you know what else you can do with the cross-site scripting. Uh, now first thing we need to understand like why key logging why attacker does the key logging so it's mainly because you know if they want to read the conversation they want to steal the credit card information PII like you know personal information or let's say password uh, which is you know uh, the most sensitive information so uh, they can capture all this information and then they can use later on uh, for various purposes and that's the main uh, logic or main goal behind the key logging exploitation now there are a couple examples so like you know there is one in the server side example uh, uh, which is very straightforward if you have seen the key cookie grabbing video uh, uh, earlier in this uh, channel uh, it, this is similar to that only the difference is the payload so uh, just to repeat you know what was the example so like in the client it would capture for the key logging it would capture the keystroke in the earlier example we we're doing like you know client would capture the cookie and then it will send it to the server and store, server will store the cookie information so this is similar instead of cookie we are capturing the keystroke here so I'm not gonna show you uh, the demonstration or, or, or the same example again like for the key logging but I'm, I'll, I'll show you the payload which you can use for key logging if you want to try yourself but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple examples for the client side attacks uh, one using the Metasploit and the second one using the B framework uh, uh, we, we are not going to go into detail of the B framework I'll just want to show you and, and I'll also give you a quick overview on like you know how to uh, use the B framework but yeah if you if you want uh, to go detail about the B, uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll do the full video on the B framework so uh, let's see the demo first and uh, I'll show you the uh, sample code okay uh, so I found this uh, website where they have like you know um, JavaScript keylogger client so this is sort of a payload which you can use for exploiting uh, cross-site scripting for the key logging uh, this is like you know the sample code they have hit here of course you have to change your URL here like you know whatever server or IP address that you are using and then they also have the example for the PHP so uh, uh, the concept is same as I said before it's a client where you put the payload on the server side like you know uh, you will have something like to capture uh, the keystrokes by the client so uh, it's it's pretty straightforward uh, now let me show you the example on the meta exploit first on how you can do the key logging or actually uh, it's similar to what we're gonna see here like you know how uh, this payload uh, the meta exploit has automated for us so it's rather easier instead of doing your own uh, you know writing the payload or anything you can just use meta exploit for the demonstration if you wish all right, so this is the uh, Kali machine, as you can see, uh, and it has uh, Meta MSF, like you know, Metasploit installed by default. Uh, you can also install Metasploit on the Windows system, uh, but yeah, I'm just using Kali because it has Beef and uh, Metasploit both uh, for easy to demonstrate. Uh, I'm just gonna wait until the uh, Metasploit loads up, and then we're gonna use the auxiliary module, which is HTTP JavaScript Keylogger. Uh, one advantage of this uh, module is it also allows you to create the demo so for example like you know uh, if you do not have a site uh, like before you actually exploit the uh, any website you can actually try it yourself using the demo and you can see how it works so that's what we're gonna see here and then I'm I'm I'll also uh, show you the exploitation of the key logging on the mutual application which we have been using for all the cross-site scripting uh, scenarios all right so looks like uh, the M uh, Mara exploit uh, is loaded and let me uh, use the module so it's under auxiliary I think it's scanner then it's capture okay it's not scanner then it's server Yep, capture then HTTP JavaScript keylogger. All right, now if we want to see the options. 
okay so uh, this first one so you want to set it to true so we can uh, see the demo set uh, demo to true uh, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the host to a different uh, like not the different IP but the local machine IP uh, in this case let me find out what the IP is Okay, so it's 192.168.138.152. Okay, set SRV host 192.168.138.152. Okay, uh, you can use the same port, but I think I have something else running on 8080, so I'm just gonna do 8081. And then this URI path. Uh, So, okay, uh, so this URI path you can, uh, like, you know, it generates the random uh, URI for the exploitation, uh, but uh, I'll just gonna keep it uh, slash to be on a simpler side. All right, so now I'm gonna run this. Okay, as you can see, the server has started and we can use this URL for the demonstration. Uh, so let me open up the Firefox and we'll see what the demo that Metaspride has created for us okay so it's up uh, let's see tp192.168 okay it's 8081 right okay so there you go now as you can see uh, in the console right now uh, we have just got the identifier but now I'm gonna just write test wow make see it also captures the like you know keystroke here it's just displaying here but you can also see meta sprite capturing all the keystrokes here so it's simple like you know it also stores all the keystroke to this file in the txt form but a uh, good thing about this is it also captures the event log so uh, what I mean is for example, let's say if I'm copying the username, so I did control C and then I control V, right? So here you would see uh, C and V. Uh, so, okay, so here you can see. Here we can only see uh, I did control C and control V. Now that doesn't make any sense. So uh, the Metasploit isn't doing like you know the event handling uh, that's what it so for example if you are if you are just reading through his keystrokes you wouldn't know if like you know if this is the username or the password because I just did control C control V but we need something where it says yes you press control C and control V that means somebody copied the username and pasted in the password and that's what uh, I don't see with the Metasploit now we're gonna see the uh, B framework, uh, which is uh, pretty much advanced, uh, like you know, uh, more advanced than the Metasploit. But this is also a decent, uh, you know, uh, key logging exploitation uh, for the demonstration purposes. And you can also use this payload for exploiting the any other website that you want. All right. So uh, for the B, if we're gonna start the uh, okay, we're gonna start the B framework here now it's gonna show you uh, you know some uh, some information here now this is important because this is the uh, JS file or the JavaScript file you would like to use okay so it just loads up but yeah so this is the UI panel so if you want to uh, use the uh, uh, beef using the UI this is where you go I uh, will we'll show it in a minute uh, this is the hook. So uh, how the beef re usually works is you have to hook the JS or the JavaScript of the beef framework into the vulnerable website and then you pretty much control the entire application. So that's why this is the file and this is the example. So like, you know, instead of IP, they have put the real IP here and uh, this is what you include in the vulnerable website and that's what we're going to do. So uh, once you install the beef, uh, probably within the Kai Linux or you download and install on the Windows machine the default username and password is going to be beef and this is their uh, 
like you know a standard a UI where you have the getting started guide here you will get the logs and everything so and this is the offline browser so that means like you know I, I had exploited these browsers in the past and now they are offline so uh, they have lost like beef has lost connection with those browsers uh, once we do the exploitation here it will like you know it will show uh, any active browsers here so uh, what we first want to do is as I said like you know we want we have to inject this hook.js file into the vulnerable website so uh, we have the vulnerable website which is this one mutually and this is like you know for the persistent access you can also do in the reflected one I just do it here so what I'm gonna do is of course we want to inject the script uh, we want to write the source so now the beef is running on my virtual machine here so it's going to be 192168 uh, let me see what the IP was uh, okay Yeah, so the IP was 192.168.138.152 uh, and then it's running on port 3000 and we're gonna do hook.js so HTTP uh, 192.168.138.138 I guess and 152 then hook.js and then we're gonna close the script tag I think this is the right okay let's just confirm one more time yes oh I forgot to I guess add the port number which is 3000 okay let me save it okay so now uh, you know uh, of course it's not gonna show here because it's a script tag now let's go back to our here all right there you go so as you can see now we have 192.168.138.1 in the online browser that means uh, the application running on this particular browser was vulnerable and we successfully injected a GS into the browser now if you want to confirm that uh, you can easily do by I just have uh, just gonna confirm so okay you can see here it's 192.168.138.1 and this is the uh, Windows machine I have now this is where you're gonna see all the logs or all the events uh, you know I talk like uh, whenever the user is gonna type something it's gonna it's gonna uh, record here um, the only thing is you know you would have to click on keep on clicking update or refresh every time you want to see the updated list okay so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about the beef like you know what the functions it has so like as you can go into this current browser and then go to the commands there are so many things you can do with the beef so like you know uh, you can do like quick detect the last pass and you can disable enable any toolbar options you can also play with the webcam uh, you can also like you know uh, this is the Chrome extension so if the application is running with the Chrome you can do all these things as well there are also various debugging functions you can do you can also do like cross origin scanner and then alert the uh, like you know the alert box that we were talking about in the cross scripting you can do that as well so it has like you know you can upload the file you can start stop rec recording the audios and stuff like that so that's a lot of things you can do here now uh, what are we gonna do is uh, we just want to see the keystroke so for example I'm just gonna refresh the screen now and uh, this is not the one but yeah so okay I has lost the focus now I'm gonna type here YouTube demo and let's see if uh, 
it was able to capture anything as I said like you know you will have to refresh okay as you can see now it's captured everything now let's see uh, YouTube demo XSS so now it's saved hello and I said H E E so let's see you have to refresh again you can also see here like you know where it was like it was captured so it also says here and it also logs like where the actual event was stored so uh, this is rather easier than writing your own payload and, and doing the key logging you can simply just include the JavaScript into the, into the vulnerable application or the exploited page and then you can pretty much control every key or you can see everything uh, that the user has been doing on their website as long as it, the connection isn't lost actually you can also unhook the browser like you know you can also release the victim by uh, playing this you can also play the sounds and there are just tons of functionality you can do with the beef so I would rec highly recommend to like you know go through this and, and and try this by yourself doing different things you would you would like you know never uh, have to do anything manual because everything is uh, con like you know you can easily do using the beef framework let me know how you uh, like you know if you run into any issues in the comment section and also if you want me to uh, kind of go through the uh, in detail about the B framework and, and try some of these functions as well I can uh, totally do that as well that's about it uh, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video if you like the video uh, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel uh, we talk a lot of a uh, lot of application security related tools and, and exploitation and also uh, if you have any questions feel free to write me in the comment section uh, thank you for your time